Hi, I'm Joe Zahner, and uh, welcome to my kitchen. And uh, today I want to talk a little bit about um, making instant mashed potatoes, which is something we do a lot of in our mess halls. Uh, and the traditional method of making the instant mashed potatoes is to measure out boiling water uh, from your copper uh, kettle and pouring it into the big Hobart mixing bowl and then pouring in the mix and uh, mixing it that way. What can happen, and has happened actually, is um, people carrying water across the mess hall slipped and spilled boiling water on themselves and got quite badly burned. So I talked to the folks at the um, Basic American Foods about a different way of making mashed potatoes that might be safer for all of us. And they obliged. They were very, very kind to do that. So here is the mashed potatoes that you know and love um, right now. This is the Basic American that you see all the time uh, in the mess halls. And on the back of this package is the basic recipe that you'll see all the time on how to do it. Well, what they've done for me is they've actually supplied me, as I said, with a different recipe. And this recipe actually is going to change the way we make the mashed potatoes. We're going to make the mashed potatoes directly in our copper jacketed kettle so that we don't have to move water anywhere. And the result you'll find, I think, will be very satisfactory. So, what we've done, what you do is, you need to uh, take your mix and we're going to pour it into the water and mix it that way. Something very important to remember is that if you're doing more than one bag, and I imagine most of you will be doing more than one bag, it's important that you pour the, the mix into uh, a container. So if you're doing more than one, you're going to be pouring more than one bag in a container. So that way what you can do is you can add it all at the same time. Because if you don't, if you add, if you were just to open one bag at a time and try and pour one bag in, one bag in, one bag in, what will happen is the mixture will get too thick for you to add the rest of the mix properly. And you'll end up with dry pockets and not a very satisfactory mashed potato. So you don't want that to happen. So you'd have a large container like this, you'd add the three, four, five, however many bags you're going to add. And in water, of course, you have already measured out your uh, one gallon, two gallon, three gallons, however many gallons it is of water. So I have here on the stove, I have a gallon of water measured out. It's in the kettle and we want to make sure our water is up to 190 degrees. Well, it's boiling, so I know it's going to be about 212. So with my whip in, in the pot, I'm going to pour, it, pour the mix in a nice steady stream. And you don't hesitate, but you don't want to go keep it a nice steady stream and keep it moving. It's all in there. You don't get you have no dry pockets. This is an operation that would be really good for two people to do. It. One person with the whip and one person with the mashed potato mix pouring it in. So at the final point, the mashed potatoes are just done right, like so. Up comes the whip. And there you have it. Voila, mashed potatoes. These are uh, delicious, just like they are. Um, and what you want to do is you want to let them sit here for about five minutes uh, to get all the, absorb all the moisture. Then you whip them up just a little bit with a whip and put them in your uh, hotel pans uh, for your line to serve. So um, thank you very much to the folks at Basic American Foods for all their help. I appreciate it. And um, you have a great day. And thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.